So you've changed your wheels. And now you have tire pressure monitoring system faults because your wheels need to be coded to the vehicle or more specifically, the sensors within the wheels need to be coded to the vehicle. Now you could just go to a main dealer and you could pay them £167 for the privilege of coding your new wheels and your new sensors to your vehicle or you could use this very cheap and inexpensive tool to do it yourself. I'm going to show you how. So what I need to do is press OK on the tyre pressure system and just click on all models. Oh, I've already got to MG because I've previously selected it so press OK and I'm going for MG5 and I'm just going to select the top one. Now what we're going to do is go on to relearn and we're going to go on OBD relearn and then just press OK. Okay, so it brings us to this screen and you can see it's selected the front left tyre. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this uh, sensor end of the reader. I'm going to bring it towards the sensor, which is by the valve stem, and I'm going to press the trigger button. You can see it's read it. And then there it shows me the ID of that sensor, shows me the pressure and shows me the temperature. Now it's telling me to go to the front right and then the rear right and then the rear left. Okay, now we've got all the serial numbers of the sensors. We've got all the pressures and we've got all the temperatures. Now we're going to plug in the OBD2 port and then we're going to code this to the vehicle. Now that it's plugged in, press the OK button. And you can see on the left hand side, it's showing me the position on the car and the right hand side are the sensor IDs. If you did take the tires off, you would be able to find these sensor IDs actually marked on the sensors physically themselves. But of course we can just read it because we've got the NFC reader here. Press OK. Now it's writing these codes to the vehicle. There you go, it's showing sensor study success. So press OK. And now you can see the position on the left hand side, the position on the vehicle and the sensors that have been detected using this machine. And then on the right hand side, the matching serial numbers that have been programmed through the OBD2 port. And you know you're all done and all ready to go. And now you can see that it's showing me all of the information here in the display cluster and the fault code has gone away. I hope this has been helpful to you. This is a machine I bought with my own money. There's no product review here. There's no sponsorship. Um, I recommend that if you're into DIY mechanicing then get yourself one of these because all of the vehicles pretty much will work the same way these days. So one of these can do pretty much any vehicle. Don't go and pay the main dealer an hour of their labor time at well over 150 up to 200 pounds. If you're somewhere on the south coast close by, come and visit me and I'll program your tire pressure sensors for free. Or I'll pop a link in the comments. I think from memory this one was about 40 pounds. So it's a quarter of the cost and you can use it forever and you can help people out as well and it's a handy little garage tool. It does do some other things as well but I'm just showing you the very basics for if you're changing wheels. hope that was helpful. If you've made it this far definitely give us a thumbs up, give us a like and uh, subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this.